he went and hid in a coffin yeah. and played dead with a mask over <laughs> with a mask over his face. What? What? No, like, no, no, no. I, uh, Come back. <laughs> yeah. The B side word. Welcome to the B side word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. I am Devin, and I'm here with Emma. Hello. I'm here with Maxi. Yo. And I'm here with a rubbing eyed Alex. Not great What's in up? COVID so times. So much for not touching your, uh, yeah, <laughs> don't touch face. <laughs> I was about to say Emma. What? I was about to say, and I am Emma, and I'm here oh. with, yeah, I was about to say that. I am. <laughs> it's, not that, it's not that night, Dev. That's no. a different night than you, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> That's our other podcast, oh. if you want to tune yeah. into that. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay, so this article. Yes. I was a bit, I was like, what? Wait, what? Okay, so COVID, we all know what's going on. We all know that most countries have lockdowns, quarantines, all this and that. So a mayor in a town in Peru, his name, I think it's the town of Tantara. His name's Jamie Rolando Urbina Torres. He decided to break, break the restriction rules. Yeah. Bearing in mind he's a mayor. And wanted to have drinks with his buddies, right? Yeah. And then, I think someone must have dobbed on him and the police came and he went and hid in a coffin yeah. and played dead with a mask over his, <laughs> with a mask over <laughs> what, his face. What? What? No, like, no, no, no. I, I, Come I, back. <laughs> yeah. Yep, 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 yep. He... Why did he? What, I think I might have missed something. He he played he played dead in the coffin because the police were, the police came knocking, and he was out drinking with his friends. I don't know why there was coffins nearby. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm like. Yes. What they don't re- they that don't know. Like, uh, it's unknown why there was coffins drink? close by. But so he was in, and I think his friends were hiding in cupboards or I don't know somewhere as well. But he he thought I know what I'll do. <laughs> If they think I'm dead, they can't arrest me. <laughs> right. I accepted a lot of facts from that story. Like, like you guys straight away said, "Why is there a coffin?" In my head, I went, "Hey, went in a coffin. <laughs> ah, cool. That's a good. That's a great hiding place. That's what I'd great do." Idea. You were like, "Next time I get in trouble, I'm going to do that too." Yeah. Great trick. <laughs> it's such a cartoonish thing to do. Like- Wait, but there's an actual picture of him in the coffin. On the article, I don't like. I don't get what what are the police meant to do if they discover him in a coffin dead? It's like, oh, there's a dead man in the coffin. <laughs> but they would know there. who it is, is because like... he's the mayor. Yeah. <laughs> but do they just leave him there once they see a dead man in the coffin? I it's just, well, and he's drinking with his friends. Unless he was drinking in a funeral home, I'd imagine a dead man in the coffin looks out of place. Although they may well have been drinking in the funeral home because the- there was a coffin there. <laughs> yeah. But he's, yeah. Got, he's got the mask on though. He has as well. the mask. Like he's yeah. in the coffin with the, ma- with the mask on. <laughs> like you would put yeah. it on a dead body. <laughs> oh, if, 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 uh, if it's a dead body, there's a good chance they have corona, right? So all the more reason to put a mask on their face. <laughs> right. <laughs> I just... Do you know what I hope? I hope it's one of these ones where like the <laughs> police... A like he he... He was in there and he was so drunk, like he didn't realise he was making a little bit of noise knocking here and there. The police opened <laughs> him and he just like, you just imagine him like giggling or something. Like a little school girl. <laughs> I don't know if he shut the shut the lid of the coffin or just left it open. I don't know. It, it's the, the, the strangest. It says, I think it's so strange it says his because friends he's a mayor. are alleged to have hidden in drawers. <laughs> <laughs> How big are these drawers? So I guess they all just, it was just like uh, a classic, like everyone just started running in circles into a direction and jumped in the first thing that was next to him. And then he Behind landed the in a coffin and thought, well, now I'm in a coffin. I guess I have to play my part, right? <laughs> I can't be in a coffin like pretending to, I don't know what else you can pretend to be in a coffin, but there's only oh one thing to do, gosh. right? Play dead. If. It's just wild. I've accepted. I just thought it was just unreal. But it's, it's such a it's such a like permanent <laughs> decision to make almost, you know, like I am now dead. Like it's very 
It's, it's not uh, something you yeah. can, I'm dead for a little while. Like you are now dead. Is that is this going to be an excuse forever? Do you know when you're a kid and you say an excuse to your mom and you get worse and worse and worse? Yeah. You get deeper into the life. Yeah. This guy's just pretending to be dead straight up. First thing he said. I'm dead. Uh. That's like, you jumped in deep quick, my friend. Like, oh you, my you know. God. What, we'll like to elect a new uh, mayor? Like what? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. Right? Like, so the police is look uh, is looking at this bloke. How long did he think he was going to hold his breath for? <laughs> I don't know. How, how, <gasps> you know what though? I'm not. Uh, we're asking this. I'm not going to lie. If there, if I'm in a place and there is a coffin in this place, yeah. and I decide to hide in it, I'm probably assuming they're not going to look in it. Yeah. If you close the lid, yeah. you mean? I probably. Yeah, I've probably not thought far enough ahead. Like, if I'm mm. stupid enough to get in it to start with, <laughs> I've definitely not thought far enough ahead that they're actually going to It probably check wouldn't it. be long enough for you because you'd probably have to have a, a man-made, <laughs> like a special made one. So you That's a good point. <laughs> you're going to be dangling up there. Kick the bottom out of it and my feet are just hanging out at the end. <laughs> you have to dig a massive hole for you. You're going to get like a proper excavator in. <laughs> I think if it was just a normal guy, it would just be like, oh, okay. But I think because he is a, a man in a position that is like the leader of his whole area, um, the mayor of his town. It's so funny. Something, something similar to this, but not really. Like um, my kid, my kids love to play hide and seek and um, their uncle was playing hide and seek with them, right? And he took a photo of our, where our youngest one was and all you see... Because he took the picture and I was looking at the picture. I'm going, what am I looking at here? And you see a little foot <laughs> in the corner of this um, shelf, right? Do you know the Ikea um, shelves? Cubes, the, the, the cubes. The cube. Yeah. So he was in the bottom right and there's a he put a school bag in front of him. And all you mm. see is this tiny little foot, right? And I'm looking at it I'm going, ah, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're playing hide and seek, you're not actually looking for that. You can't see the foot. You're just like, look, where yeah. is this guy? In like, well, he spent um, he spent um, like a couple of like twenty minutes one time, eh? Yeah. In the cupboard. Yeah. Because he just really loves to win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna breathe. <laughs> Yeah, but a lot of the time, if if you found the That's other brilliant. ones, he'll be like, "What about me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got it on me. <laughs> you know, you're Tell too you what, good. No one likes playing with you. Yeah. <laughs> make 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 shift a little tiny like child sized coffin and just see if any of them hide in it. <laughs> Man, I mean that's quite a um, yeah. I'm not, uh, I don't like, like that a one. A lot of drawbacks on that as well, I guess. <laughs> coffin in your house. Yeah, but uh, there was I was listening to a podcast with um, Josh Whittacombe and Rob Beckett. I don't Why know if you know I those know two the word comedians. Josh Whittacombe. I know that from the UK. Oh, they were saying they is he they not got, the uh, one that does? They got a podcast now, which is called like Parenthood or something, and yeah. they're just talking about what it's like to be parents in lockdown. Yeah. yeah, it's quite a good podcast. Like it's worth checking out. But um, they were talking about it, and somebody said they've lost like they people send in like emails about what's happened to them, right? And someone said about how they've lost their keys. Um, because they're like youngest one hid them and yeah. they don't know where they hid them. Yeah. But this is a really good tip when I was, this, this reminded me of it. They, uh, Rob said that what you need to do is when they become like to an age where they like hiding things, you have to be part of the game with them first. So you have to say like, okay, you hide this and then we'll see if we can find it. And if not, we'll uh, oh. give up. And then what happens is they always hide it in the same places, right? Oh. So then when they do take something from you and then go and hide it, you know which like two or three places to go to and look do. in. Uh, that happened to me and I had yeah. an appointment which I actually had to cancel because my keys had been hidden and no. it was literally <laughs> between so it, we, were, we were living in an apartment at the time it was between the mattress of the bed and the um, mattress he headboard no oh. the um, the side one that you can put up to stop them falling out mm. you know like the little side barrier oh right right, yeah. right so, but it yep. like was between there which was a tight fit and all the way at the bottom no way I would have like I don't even know did how he put the, did he put it there on purpose he, yeah he was what? hiding them but oh, he couldn't okay. remember where he'd put them mm. like <laughs> it was the most weirdest <laughs> place and I, yeah I had to like full cancel my appointment but that's why we got the tile do you know mm. that um that thing tile yes that, yeah that's why we got him in it yeah so I went to use that last week yeah <laughs> out of battery yeah <laughs> I went to use it, so I, I opened up my phone. I'm like, find my find my keys, and it just said, "Sorry, you need to replace your battery." I'm like, this is useless. How long have you had it? Oh, a couple of years. 
I say, I, I think they're supposed to last years, aren't yeah, they? The I, I well, that's what I was like. This I is think useless. Use that much. <laughs> I was like, this is actually useless. Mm. Yeah. So I didn't know that. But there's a, I guess, a similar story to this. Is did you hear about Dominic Cummings in the UK? No, tell me. Yeah. <laughs> no, tell us. So tell Dominic. Me. Oh, Cummings, who is Boris Johnson, our Prime Minister's senior advisor. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yeah. I know about um, Dominic. You heard about this, right? Yeah. So mm. he he's, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, really quick story. Obviously, the lockdown rules in the UK at the time he did this was like, you can't go out of your area and you shouldn't be out <laughs> for more than an hour a day. Um, and you can't meet anyone like outside of your household and you shouldn't ever drive to a different area to do exercise. You should only stay in your area and do exercises there, right? Um, now, Dominic Cummings, who is one of the people that made these rules, was found 260 <laughs> miles or 420 kilometers north of where he lives in London, right? So he got seen at like a, uh, some castle up there, and then he got seen again on the way back in some woods. And basically, people are calling for him to be like disciplined, so, right? Or yeah. should step down or something because it's one rule for them and a different rule for everybody else. Mm. Now, he, he come up with some good excuses for everything, right? Have, mm. you, have you heard what his excuse is? No. He was dropping his kids off to his parents' house because his wife had COVID. No. Is this the same guy? That wasn't the excuse. Wait. There was an English guy and they're calling for him to be fired because he was the one that made the rules and he drove all the way up north to drop his kids to his family's house and stay there because him and his wife or his wife had been diagnosed with COVID and he's, he used the excuse that I need the the um, them to look after the kids. And then they went and drove all the way down to another sort of area on the way home, which isn't where they live as well, and stopped off there and then they went home. And Boris I is defending him. Too- you two probably talking about the same person. I don't know if either of you are aware, but he's done this twice. Oh. oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. so we, just, we just told you both stories. <laughs> so I thought I thought Maxi was going from like the one to the other, but then it dawned on me that Maxi didn't realise it was a second time and Emma didn't realise it was a first time. I didn't know that was... Oh, awesome. I like, you seem to know more about this than us. Do you want to uh, take over? Or? I know, you were like sat there quite the whole time whilst we were like confused. No, you know, you know why? It's because I don't know the details of each one. I just know that he's done it twice. Uh, okay, so let me we, give you the first detail. The first details for me are hilarious. Because Okay, he drives up. Yeah. His excuse for driving up there, right, was because his wife didn't want him driving to work, which he's doing a central job, so he was meant to drive to work. That's fine. Mm-hmm. His wife didn't want him to drive to work because he had some kind of disease which affected his eyesight. Okay? okay, so to test that he was good enough to drive, rather than calling the doctor or doing <laughs> what a normal person would do, he said to his wife, how about we go for a drive and you can see that I can drive well enough? So <laughs> she says, okay. So they drive 400 kilometers away to, to test his eyes, a thorough test, obviously. And they get saying, to this river I, don't, and they... I, I don't know if you're... You're seeing quite far into the distance. What's over there, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take this roundabout. Okay, now take this roundabout. I'll sit and take that mode away and I'll stay on this for 50 miles and I'll take this mode away and stay on this for 100 miles because, you know, we want to be very sure. And then there's a beautiful castle up here. We just go there and stop. And now, so he gets to the castle and they said um, he was feeling a bit sick and that's the reason he got out because you're not going to get out of your car. He had no plans to get out of his car, apparently, driving 400 mile, uh, 260 miles away. But he felt a bit sick. So they got out of the car for 15 to 20 minutes. They sat down. They Someone recognized him. He said hello. Um, he had his kid in the car that he left there. And they were just in like just they weren't there to enjoy the area. They're only there because he felt sick. Right. Just a coincidence. It was a beautiful area. <laughs> so after 15 minutes, he feels OK again. So he gets back in his car and then they drive <laughs> home. And on the way home, his kid needs a toilet. So they go to these woods, really nice woods. A lot of people play there. So they just happen to stop on the motorway in that area. They get out. <laughs> Um, the wife gets out to let the kid go to the toilet and they decide they'll just stay there for a little bit as well. And coincidentally, <laughs> someone else happens to bump into them just in that very short time they were out whilst they play in the woods for what he says is 15 minutes. <laughs> we don't know what it actually is. And then he drives home again. And then his wife agrees that he's now healthy enough to go to work. <laughs> All right. That's the reason he went on that journey. So that he sounds, that sounds, oh that that sounds so good. Maxi, can you say that again as you're the MP, right? And I'm Boris Johnson. All right, tell me your excuse for what, you from going. The start? No, just a short. Give me a short rendition. So I'm I'm deciding whether you have a job or not. Give me give me yeah. your excuse. A short version of that. My uh, I just wasn't sure my eyes were working, so me and my wife went. I for believe a you. Quick drive. <laughs> oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> 
<laughs> Your job is saved. <laughs> <laughs> that's very. That's that's pretty accurate. Of Morris's yeah. response, to be honest. But this Have guy, seen I've response? seen him like with I, the I media, think, and he's yeah. just like. Stand away. You're supposed to be over there. We're supposed to be two meters apart. Move away. Move away. And then he just acts all like, I don't know, real just arrogant. Like, I did nothing Who? wrong. Everything I did was legal. This Dominic oh, guy. Cummings. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, he's, I feel like his so approach funny. is we give you rules because we don't trust you're intelligent enough to yes, like think so. keep the two meters. But I'm intelligent enough to do it. So I will just drive around the country and yeah. do it in a safe manner. Right. Yeah. That's basically what he's saying to the public. Like a big F you. Uh, Apparently, one day ago, it says that he may have breached lockdown rules. That was one day ago. Update. Yeah, there's some investigation now the Metropolitan Police are doing to um because there's like other people in London, especially particular parts of it, are getting like arrested for not really breaking the lockdown rules, or you know, yeah, they just assume they're not from that area and they don't have ID on them, so they they arrest them and say, okay, you were from this area, but then we got these MPs driving, yeah. And in the second Miles case the where he said, oh, my wife had it. So, you know, we didn't want the kids around. So we dropped him off to my mum, who lives 400 miles away, wherever, however. And then there's outrage because they're like, well, we didn't have that luxury. We didn't even know that was an option. Like I'm a single yeah. mum. I've got it too. And, you know, this and that. Like, so that's the only, that's the part of it that I have heard about. So, also, it wouldn't make any sense anyway, because if the mother had it, then the kids are already... Like been exposed that yeah. zone. that's like the worst yeah. thing to send do. him to the grandparents yeah. oh we might have yeah. it let's quickly chuck them to another part of the country <laughs> and then spread it let's, there let's that, put them with let's put them with decision. more vulnerable people <laughs> yeah <sighs> that's like know. oh man that's unbelievable I know. Unbelievable. people's decisions but there's a lot of politicians just don't seem to get it like in all countries by the looks of things yeah. mm. like, things keep coming out did you guys see the one with yeah. <laughs> did you guys see the one with there's another mask one <laughs> the guy puts it on his head, <laughs> yeah, like on the top of his head. Like <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing when I saw. It. I it was a politician, and he got it on his ear, but up here, like the mask was on his head. Like what? <laughs> like a Dude. like a hat or something? Yes. <laughs> like he's wearing a party. Hat. Like a, both ears still, but up here. <laughs> and then he put it on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen one as well where someone said they're struggling to breathe, so they just conveniently cut a hole around their mouth <laughs> so they could breathe well enough. But still had the mask on. <laughs> it's like, what is? Have you, going seen, have you on? seen these? Have you seen these eating ones? Yes, I have. No. With a little. Yes. Got, the, I think they're like tubes with like air around the mouth, and they clamp down. But when you press a little squidgy thing, they open up because of the the air pressure, and then you can eat. <laughs> it's, it's like what? Yeah, it's the most ridiculous. I have like, not it's, seen that. It's so because you've got to have like this attachment with this funnel. Yeah. With the little. Like it's just like oh, you know I've the just pumps, seen. Pumps I've just seen. And it just goes. Well, it does, looks like a little. Has there been any like? I've seen a public zip one. information about how to wear a mask. Like, do you know, like you always get those public what are they called public information adverts or something. Yeah. Where they'd be like PSAs and don't stuff. Don't run around corners because you might bump into a big pane of glass which two builders are carrying. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've never seen it too. I've never seen it on carry glass like that, but it was just uh, <laughs> don't do that because that could happen. But yeah. I'm surprised I haven't seen it with like wearing masks. I've seen yeah. it with washing your hands, but I yeah. haven't seen it with wearing masks and it seems to be that, like there's so many people that are... Uh... And then things like, this is one, right? This, like everyone keeps saying about how people are driving with masks on and why... They, and they take the mickey out of them for driving with masks on. Mm. Have you seen this? No. no. Like I see it all the time. And the analogy is driving with a mask on is like wearing a condom to bed. Like it's pointless. Yeah. Right. But actually it's not pointless because a lot of care workers and stuff jump from house to house. And the idea is once you put a mask on, you should never touch it oh. until you don't want to use it again. Right. Every t- as soon as you touch it, then it becomes like sort of right, damaged right, or contaminated. Right. So the idea is... You wear your mask, uh, and then after two hours, whatever, whatever the lifespan of the mask is, then you take it off. So these people in cars could just be hopping between looking after people. And then you have these chorus of people that have no idea how to use a mask, telling them, Saying, oh, what you're are you an doing? idiot for wearing the mask. And that for makes some sense. reason, it becomes like a funny yeah, 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 thing yeah. that they know better, you know? It's like yeah. an intelligence war. That makes sense. But that makes sense. One, one that's why it's nice warning. to have a podcast. I see these people say it, and I don't know how to voice it, but now it's on the podcast. So yeah. <laughs> cop, <laughs> cop that. that. <laughs> 
Must take a Mikaroos. You know, um, Emma just said um, there's one with a zipper. That's um, that's a sex mask. BDSM or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's not a. I say it's like, <laughs> that's well, like a mask. <laughs> when you said there was, a zipper, you go, oh, there's a mask with a zipper. Yeah, let's not talk about that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one here. No, You're there, the, the one at the right. Fiction. That one is. Yeah. <laughs> but this one, that's got a zipper. Anyway, yeah. You know what? I didn't even catch that, devs. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know someone said that. Brilliant. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's it. Done.